Now, from the Forewarned Storm Center, meteorologist Thomas Geboy. For just, for just about the first time this month, it's finally starting to feel like Christmas. And as we go into tomorrow morning, there is a freeze warning in effect. This does go in effect tonight until tomorrow morning. It'll expire right around 9 o'clock in the morning. Expecting some pretty frigid temperatures tomorrow. Notice not all the wire grass is covered, mainly the northern portions. That's the Birmingham National Weather Service office. They still haven't painted that out yet. But the, most, the only place that you really don't see that freeze warning is along the coast. Everyone else is going to get those temperatures very, very cold. And we'll discuss that in detail in just a little bit. But temperatures right now, as we stand right now, temperatures to the lower 50s. So we're already starting to see those temperatures cool off. And they're going to cool off rather quickly with the northwest breeze still blowing rather hard. We're going to see those temperatures go down quickly. And also the wind chill might begin to play a factor. We'll start to see those winds taper off as we head into the rest of this evening and noticing back towards the northwest cooler conditions. Even Birmingham right now sitting at 40. Four degrees, they'll hit freezing relatively soon. Nashville sitting at 41 degrees. So cool air is going to last throughout the weekend. So make sure you break out those winter jackets just in case. The reason for that, high pressure firmly in place. That's why we see the northerly winds today. This high pressure you see right here near the border of Mississippi, that'll slide to the east as we go throughout the weekend. And eventually by Monday, we're going to return a southerly flow. So still sticking with the northerly breeze tonight. So temperature is going to be rather on the cool side. But notice nice and clear. And unfortunately, when it's nice and clear at night, that's going to help things cool off rather efficiently. So we're going to see some pretty cold temperatures tomorrow through the afternoon. Expect mostly sunny skies, almost a carbon copy of what we're going to see or what we saw today. But once we get into Sunday evening, that's when that southerly flow will return and we'll introduce more cloud coverage. And by Monday, we're going to see rain chances return to the forecast once again. And so now getting to the all important Christmas forecast. I know a group of elementary students very interested in this. So because stick as we go into Monday morning temperatures notice into the lower four or in the lower lower 50s for overnight lows. And that's when we're going to increase the chance for rain each day next week. We're going to progressively warm up by Tuesday afternoon. Temperature is going to be into the mid and upper 60s with a southerly flow still sticking with rain chances. Tuesday is going to be the best chance for rain. But on Thursday, it's going to be hit or miss and see that temperature 77 degrees going to go with a high of upper 70s on Thursday. We should see a little shot of cooler air on Christmas Day. So high temperature is going to be into the mid and upper 60s. Still warm for Christmas, but it's not going to feel like Christmas. And then we're going to warm things back up heading into next weekend. And then we might see our finally our big cool shot heading into New Year's. So kind of doing a little role reversal of what we'd like to see. But overnight low temperatures tonight. Near 30 degrees can't rule out some areas seeing those temperatures into the upper 20s. As for tomorrow, almost a carbon copy of what we saw today. Cool and sunny. So the next three days going to be cool. And tomorrow, small craft advisory on the coast. Be careful if you do get out near the water. And then as we go throughout the next couple days, looking good for the weekend. But rain chances coming back. First day of winter won't feel like winter. And then warming up to the mid and upper 70s by Christmas Eve. And then a little reprieve on Christmas mm -hmm. before we get back to rain chances next weekend. Mm, okay, as long as it's not raining on Christmas Day, I think a lot of kids are really concerned about we're that. We're trying to put a bubble on Christmas, so we're yes. doing what we can. So we're just going to continue to try to make it more protective. Yeah, Christmas Eve going into Christmas, Santa has to get in here. So Yes, yes here. he does. Okay. And we'll do the best we can for him, make a nice little landing strip. <laughs> right, all right, thank you. A lot of young children.